All right, Budget Magic, Mardu you threaten? Oh, man, it would be sweet to play the Eldrazi ramp deck. That's what I'm looking forward to. <laughs> Stealing a new Lumag just seems so sweet. Oh, mismatch, <laughs> mismatched forest. Those are oddly mismatched, too. Foil Magic Origins and Unhinged Promo. All right, caves go. Next turn, we can get down our husk. This has got to be the ramp deck. Nissa, sure. Well, they shouldn't have much removal to uh, deal with our plan. Search is out of forest. So caves into Nantucko husk. Wouldn't mind drawing another land at some point as well. Just because I'm worried about the eventual Ulamog uh, eating our lands, exiling them. Hedron Archive. Some more mana for our opponent. We also should be concerned about World Breaker, I guess. Obligator. Well, I guess we active treason the Nyssa. Attack with both. Hit our opponent 16, sack the Nyssa. Pass the turn, because we're not drawing the lands. If they have World Breaker here, we're kind of in a bad place. Just because we haven't drawn lands and they have. Yeah, World Breaker. That's bad news. Exiles land. Puts us even shorter. Well, Nomad Outpost. Alright, I guess we just passed the turn. If we had hit our lands, we would be stealing that and killing our opponent, but it wasn't meant to be. Jeez, and a Sanctum. They have a lot of mana. Another Hedron Archive. Going to attack with the World Breaker. I guess we take our beats for now. Down to 16. Conduit of Ruin. Ay. Yeah, we just didn't draw the lands. Searches up an Ulamog. Not a land. Yeah, we're dead. Not going to show our opponent any more of our deck. Couldn't find the lands, unfortunately. Well, you can bring in this infinite obliteration. And go down fiery impulses. Also bring in... Hmm. I guess duress? And try it like that. All right, game two against Eldrazi Ramp, and all right, we got lands. That's a, a good step in the right direction. I think we're just going to go Smoldering Marsh first. Gives us duress next turn to take a ramp spell, hopefully. Ooh, and the instigator. All right, let's duress. Take... Hmm... Double Pilgrimage in Spatial Contortion. I guess we're going to take the removal spell and then play Windscarred Craig. Pass the turn. Waste and Sylvan Advocate. Let's go Battlefield Forge into Husk. Turn against is a good one against Eldrazi, too. They're going to start searching up a bunch of lands with Nissa's Pilgrimage. Basically, cultivate, but only for forests. Yep, take two.
then we will just active treason sack the advocate attack for four play evolving wilds pass the turn The dream is alive, the dream of stealing an Ulamog. Nissa's Pilgrimage. And Sylvan Scrying. Well, our opponent is getting their ramp on. Can we kill them fast enough? Or have enough mana when they start playing big Eldrazi's to steal them? Those are the two questions. Possible. Especially with Jeering Instigator. They're going to get a Sanctum of Ugin. Well, we will search up a Swamp here. Smoldering Marsh. All right, let's get in with Husk. Put our opponent to 14. Play a face down Jeering Instigator. Our secret weapon against Eldrazi. Smoldering Marsh and pass the turn. See what our opponent has. If they play a World Breaker, they can kill a land, but then we steal the World Breaker, hit for 9, and then sack the World Breaker, and then we still have turn against available for the next play. I guess Ugin is more annoying. They go with Oblivion Sower. See what they hit. One land. Five, six, seven, eight, seven, eight. So they might not have enough mana for Ulamog as it is. Opponent's trying to decide if they want to take our land, apparently. Yep, take our land, crack our land. Oblivion soar down. So I think our plan is just to turn against since it's the more expensive of our threatens. Steal Oblivion Sower. Attack with everything. Hit our opponent to five. Sack Oblivion Sower. Play Battlefield Forge. Pass the turn. And see what our opponent has. They need two mana land. They don't have two mana land. So I guess Ugin is good. Any of their non Ulamog creatures, though, just kills them. They would have to Ulamog exiling our morph. Because we can just flip up the Jeering Instigator and steal the creature and win. They could also have some sort of removal, I guess. But we're pretty close to just winning uh, with what's on board. All right, our opponent looks like they're just going to pass. And scoops it up. All right, on to game three. I don't think we change anything. Run it back. Uh, all right, this isn't a great hand, but I think it's playable? Keepable? Yeah, we're going to keep this. Ooh, Butcher's not bad. Gives us a sack outlet. And our opponent shouldn't be able to kill it. See how much ramp they have. Ooh, red, eh? We didn't see red earlier. Murderous Cut could end up being decent. So we'll just play our Windscarred Crag. Is Butcher a fast enough clock? Alright, land for our opponent. We get to face down this Jeering Instigator. Reasonable. 
Red might mean they have Kozilek's return, which whew, could be bad for us. All right, let's see what our opponent has. Hedron Archive, sure. Can't do anything about it. So we're just going to go Mountain into Butcher. Attack with Jeering Instigator. I don't think we're in horrible shape. It really depends on what our opponent has, though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. Could be World Breaker. World Breaker wouldn't be that bad. World Breaker. Gets to get one of our lands. They get to sack the Sanctum if they want. Yep, hits our Nomad Outpost, sure. Are they going to sack Sanctum? Alright, I think our Threatens are going to shine in this one. They do sack it. Do they get a another World Breaker? Fine. So, we just... Um, flip up Jeering Instigator. Grab the World Breaker. Attack for 12. <laughs> Our poor Eldrazi opponent. And then they're going to play another World Breaker. We're going to active treason and just win. We have a lot of hate for this deck. We were kind of built to destroy the Eldrazi ramp deck. So we get the World Breaker. Swing with the team. Then we sack World Breaker. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Play Nomad Outpost. Pass the turn. So if our opponent just plays World Breaker here, we win. But I don't think they can play anything else. Yep, we're, we're going to steal the second World Breaker with Active Treason. I guess we could win any number of ways, but... We're going to win with Active Treason because it's the sweetest. <laughs> we could just ruin his path and attack, but what's the fun in that? Uh, so, yep. Sorry, World Breaker. <laughs> Active Treason. And that does it. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, Threatens are good against Huge Eldrazi. Who would have figured?